What's good YouTube, it's your boy the 4th Ken and I'm back with another video. Now today we have just a strictly just a hairline tutorial. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to do the Edgar haircut. Um, a lot of you guys may be asking, oh, what's the Edgar haircut? Well, if you go on TikTok or any other popular social media, it's basically a Hispanic haircut. Uh, usually the person has super straight hair like my client here. And the goal of the Edgar haircut is to get the hairline as straight as possible and even as possible. So we're gonna start out with some water. This is to saturate my client's hair to get it to lay down. Although it already is laid down, uh, water can stretch hair out. So that's the goal of it. Next, I'm gonna add some sea breeze. This is a cleaning solution for the skin. A lot of nail salons usually use it. Now this is to clean his skin under his bangs. All the hair that I'm combing right now is his bangs. That isn't his natural hairline. His natural hairline is way farther back. Now we're gonna blow dry it. This isn't our final blow dry. This is just the initial blow dry. As you can see, I'm blowing his bangs around. Um, you can see how far his hairline goes back. So I don't want any of you guys, oh, you pushed him back. Nah, it's all bangs. All we're doing is manipulating his hairline. Whenever you blow dry, you wanna make sure you comb it back into place because this is the exact opposite of African-American hair. It does not stay in place. This kind of hair moves around a lot. Now we're gonna add some hairspray, but the key is not to add a lot. I'm spraying it from afar because what I've learned doing this texture is when you use too much hairspray, it just makes the job harder. Less is more in this case. After we added hairspray, I added some more water and now we're blow drying it. But notice how I'm blow drying it. I'm blow drying it this time with the goal of it to get it to stay in place. So I'm combing it down slowly while I'm blow drying it to get it to manipulate in the lay. So his hair is clean, his skin is clean. So now we're gonna proceed with the lineup. This is something that you can't teach. This is why I like to tell people that shaping up is an art. Shaping hair up is an art, especially right here. This is an art because I literally have to sculpt it from scratch. There's nothing to work with. So I have to literally sculpt it. It's a canvas and it's my canvas. So we're starting it out. As you can see, it's obviously crooked. Um, that doesn't really matter too much as long as it's straight at the end. Just notice how I do it. I'm gonna be sharing some helpful tips that I like to do. I like to stand in front of my client, but in this case I couldn't because the camera. So, and if you guys are wondering where I'm at, I'm actually in my new shop. I opened up a shop, it's a private barber shop um, in my city and yeah. I'm only 18 years old. I just graduated high school and I just opened up my shop. But just notice how I'm keeping the clipper blade horizontally. I'm not pressing too hard, but I'm also pressing enough to penetrate the hair. That's the goal, to cut the hair, not the skin. We are gonna enhance just the vertical bars, not the C cup or the hairline, cause that's all dark. There would be no need in enhancing it. So that's how the C cup and the that side looks without the enhancements. And right now we're gonna enhance it. And as you guys saw, I didn't add a lot of enhancements. It's 
never necessary to add a lot. Unless someone's really receding, it's, you just add a little bit. And the thing about this texture, which makes it so difficult, very, very difficult, is that you have to keep shaping it up. It's not like you're one and done, like African-American hair or, or curly hair. It's like you have to keep combing it down, keep combing it because new hairs pop up. This side of the bang, you didn't cut low enough. Like it's very complicated. So on this side, when I was doing it, I kept it too low at first. So I had to go farther back. But once again, as a reminder, this isn't a pushback. So as you can see, I'm gonna make my initial line then I'm gonna go back and check the other side and realize that this side needs to be higher. But remember, we're just shaping up his hair. This isn't his true hairline. His true hairline is farther back. I like to teach people about this stuff because people are always so quick. Oh, he pushed him back. Oh, he pushed his fade back. Nah, nah. And also with this, you cannot taper this hairline at all. This haircut, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be asking, oh, would you use it on top? This is just a six with the grain with an eight on like the size, the taper area. And then I just gave him a low taper. So this side, his, his vertical bar didn't have as much hair as the other side. So we had to finesse it. This is the Edgar haircut. Like this is just Edgar. When I look at this haircut, I just think of Edgar. Um, I see a lot of people on TikTok because I cut his hair before. This is one, one of my good clients. Um, I cut his hair before on TikTok and I posted their finished haircut and everyone was saying, oh, that's the Edgar haircut. So we enhanced this side as we did the other side. And right now we're just going back and retouching it. So this is the important part that I want to emphasize. This is the detail part. So before I cut the camera, I was combing it down to really get all them, those uneven parts. And as you can see, it's still uneven. So we're going back and really detailing each side. And notice how you do have to shape up the hairline near the skin, but you also have to shape up the bangs above the hairline. Some of you guys may know what I'm talking about. It's really hard. It's a hard concept to explain, but since there's bangs, you have to kind of edge at it. You can't just keep shaping up the skin. You kind of got to edge at the actual hair above the hairline. Because bangs this dark can create a shadow, which can make it appear crooked. So we're just doing the final steps of the detail work. And then the lineup is going to be basically finished. As you can see, it's very crispy. The only parts we enhanced was the ones you guys saw, vertical bars. Everything else is just his natural line. He has a very dark line. I've made the mistakes in the past of tapering it with like a five guard with the green. And it was, I just didn't like how it looked. So I don't even taper it at all. I don't even take the six guard when I'm taking his hair down. I don't even touch the front. I just take the six all around and then just leave the front every single time. That's the beauty about cutting hair. You have to learn each specific client. So this is the finished product. This is the before. And this is the after of the Edgar haircut. Please like, comment, subscribe. And it's the fourth Ken and I'm out. Peace.